On May 9, 2022, Sharp announced its latest smartphone, Aquasar 7. It is Sharp's high-end type, and like its predecessor, the camera was co-developed with Leica. The camera has a 1-inch sensor. The sensor size is the same as the previous model, but they use a new sensor. This makes the autofocus speed much faster. The body color of the Aquasar 7 I have now is black. The design is now quite square. The display is also flat, unlike the previous model, which had an edge display. The back has a frosted finish, but the material is glass. Incidentally, it is branded lights, not Leica. It also has a sensor for distance measurement. This is the silver model. This time, it is available in black and silver. This one also has a frosted finish, giving it a high-end look. Processor is Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 mobile platform. Memory is 12GB, storage is 256GB. 5G is supported for sub 6 and millimeter wave, and 5G SA standalone. It also has a SIM slot for Immunisim and SIM is available. The new camera sensor is not only faster in auto-focusing, but also stronger in close-up photography. The previous model had a close-up capability of 14cm to 16cm, but the Aquasar 7 has a 12cm capability, which allows the photographer to get closer to the subject. Unfortunately, we were not able to operate the camera feature during this touch and try because it is not yet complete. The demo unit does not include a camera application. It will be a little while before we can actually check the shooting performance. The rightmost one is the new 1-inch sensor and the Aquasar 7. The center is the Aquasar 6 and the left is the Aquasar 5G sensor. This is a disassembled display of the Aquasar 7 camera unit, showing the 1-inch sensor as well as the rigid FBC substrate, infrared cut filter, lens, sensor cover, and actuator. At the exhibit hall, they were demonstrating autofocusing. Look at how long it takes for the camera to focus on the eyes of a face popping out of a box. It is much faster and more accurate than the previous model, isn't it? By the way, in this demo, one sharp employee went into the box and put the mask in his own face in and out of the box. It is a tough job. This is a demonstration of focus tracking. You can see that the camera is clearly detecting and following the illustration of a dog. Autofocus performance, minimum focusing distance, and malfunctions caused by the edge display were the main complaints of the Aquasar 6. The key point is that these three have been eliminated in the Aquasar 7. This is a disassembled exhibit of the Aquasar 7. The Aquasar 7 uses Sharp's proprietary Pro Exo OLED, which incorporates technology from Sharp's LCD displays into OLEDs, and reduces retinal afterimage by inserting a black screen between 120Hz drives to achieve a 240Hz drive. On the left is the Aquasar 6 and on the right is the Aquasar 7. It has a cleaner design than the previous model. The Aqua 7 South African Rand is scheduled for release in July. There are still two months to go, but we are looking forward to it. This is a report from the Aquasar 7 Touch and Try venue. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a high rating.